What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I'm here today to do a update on my buying and selling. I said I was going to do it last week, but uh, I never got around to it. Sorry. Um, it's the first full day of spring today, and it is snowing uh, here in Maryland. Uh, this is a part of a nor'easter, and it is freaking bogus. But uh, it's whatever. Hopefully it'll get warm and beautiful, and birds will chirp soon, and everything will be awesome. Um... So to start off this buying and selling update, uh, I bought this at the auction. If you saw my last video, you saw this up on the roof. Um, I've always wanted one of these things. I think they're really awesome. Uh, there was one for sale at an antique store a while ago that I was thinking about buying, but it was $300. So I couldn't pull the trigger on that, but uh, I got this at the auction for 80 bucks, so that's pretty, pretty radical. Um, other than that, my... Uh, Buying and selling is still in shambles. Let me uh, get in here and get back to my list of where I left off. Um, let's see. List. I got to show you Bert real quick too. He's being super cool right now. Um, he buried himself under the blanket. Hey Bert, what are you doing, Bert? What are you doing under the blankets, Bert? Oh, come on, Bert. Are you cold on this chilly day? Are you cold on this snowy spring day, Bert? Oh, come on, Bert. So, yeah, that's Bert uh, doing his thing. Here's where I keep the buying and selling money. Right now, I have 30 bucks in there. And I think I have some more in my wallet. Uh, let's see how much is here. Let me set this like that. Uh, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So there's 45 bucks that uh, can go in there for a grand total of $75. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the freaking sweet duck money holder. But, uh, so since my last video, um... I think I showed it a couple times. Sorry that the camera's all over the place. I'm not focusing. Um, since the last video, when I uh, showed where I was at, um, I had a white couch. I think I showed it. Um, it didn't sell twice, so I actually just burnt it yesterday uh, in the backyard. I was like, I'm tired of this thing sitting around. I need more room under the carport, so I burnt it. Um, the Ethan Allen uh, TV Entertainment Center, uh, no one ever showed up to look at that, couldn't sell that, so I burnt that too. Um, the, uh, the bookshelf I had did sell for 12 bucks, so that was a $12 profit. Um, that stove I put in the last video that my cousin wanted, uh, he never picked it up, I called him and asked him about it, he never got back to me, so that's still sitting in my shed taking up space. Um, uh, this I don't know if I showed it in the video or not, but I had a sink and vanity I got from the same people I got that bathtub that I destroyed. Um, I'll put a link to that video in the description. Uh, the bathtub video and uh, the last buying and selling update video. I'll put those in the description. They might even be the same video, I don't really know. But anyway, um, the sink and the vanity sold for $8, so that was pretty cool. <clears throat> um, and I still have that fridge that you've seen a couple times. Right now it's in the bed of my truck, ready to go to the scrap yard. Um, it was taking up room in my shed. I had the price lowered all the way down to $20 and nobody wanted it. So it's going to the scrap yard. Uh, I was going to take it today, but I called the scrap yard and they closed early. I didn't get out of bed early enough today. Uh, work was closed today because of the snow. And I didn't get out of bed early enough to take it because they closed early because of the inclement weather so that's the uh latest update on that um two weeks ago uh i stopped and got this dresser it was particle board garbage from ikea uh it looked nice in the pictures i got there and it was junk uh, i took it from the people anyway but uh it ended up being junk it wouldn't have sold so i burnt that too and i got a uh i'll just go out and show it to you real quick I got a bookshelf from a dude, also in the pictures it looked nice, 
and I showed up and got it and it was not that nice. I feel bad. Um, people are nice enough to give stuff away for free and I show up and go, oh, this isn't, this isn't nice enough for me. So I always just take things anyway. Um, here's this bookshelf I got. Um, it's particle board garbage too. It's got this flimsy cardboard back. Down here it has like a blood stain or a, a freaking gnarly bubblegum massacre. I don't know what it is. But it's just not that nice of a of a piece. So um, I, I don't know if it's going to sell at the auction or not. I thought it might take up there and see, but it is what it is. But um, So my dad bought a storage unit and uh, gave me a couple things out of it. He got these oak chairs. Here's a bag of bag of clothes that need to go to the Salvation Army. Two decent oak chairs. There's this uh, there's this I don't know. It's like a toilet paper holder or something. It, it opens up. Let me see if I can pull it out. I thought about taking this to the auction too, but it's it's kind of in rough shape. It has a heart for love. Um, what's that Bible verse? Uh, faith, hope, and love are some good things you gave us, but the greatest is love. You gotta love, man. You gotta love this toilet paper holder, dude. Uh, it's in rough shape, but whatever. Got this umbrella, uh, down here. Got these two, like, decorative vase type things. Um, those are for free from the storage unit. Um, so that's all I've got right now. I'll tell you, though, man, this, this blizzard is, is gnarly, man. It's cold. Um, the, uh, so that's, that's all I've got right now. Oh, hey, Bert. Bert, you want to go into the blizzard? Go to the blizzard, Bert. Go into the wooded realm where the blizzard is, Bert. Bert. Um. I was, uh, so, um, the $303 I had built up for my buyings and sellings, um, I spent all that on the first edition booster boxes I bought. I'll put a link to that video in the description too. It's a pretty sweet video that you all would probably like to see. Um, so that took me back down to zero. But my dad recently, um, so the auction that I always refer to had a uh, annual, they have an annual spring sale. It's a farm sale where people bring a bunch of stuff. It's a huge auction. My dad was like, hey, if you help me uh, load up this trailer and take this stuff up there, you can have the proceeds from it. So I was like, okay, cool. So um, let me see, I got the paperwork down here. Um, there was a, a tank, uh, a steam cleaner, a table, a floor jack, a truck window, four rims, two tires, a box of stones, a uh, chainsaw, uh, ladder rack, uh, a boat, propeller and wires, um, some trailer hubs, a kerosene can, a uh, pickup toolbox, and a uh, rigid radial arm saw. And all that sold for $262, which was super cool. I don't, I'm sorry if the camera wasn't focusing on me. Uh, I'm doing this blindly. I have no idea what the camera's looking at. Um, uh, the auction got 59 bucks, so my dad gave me the $203 that was left over after it sold. So that was super awesome of him to uh, give me that money. So that almost took me back to where I was uh, from 203, uh, almost 303, but I needed tires on my car, so I had to pay 80 bucks to get my tires mounted and balanced. And then I paid um, 100 bucks, well, at the auction, I didn't have any money on me when I won that uh, dude holding that thing on the front step in the beginning of the video. Uh, so I, it was like 80 something bucks. I borrowed 100 bucks from my friend to buy it. So I had to give him 100 bucks. So some of that money in the, in the buying and selling fund is the change from $100. Um, so anyway, uh, most of that money that my dad gave me, I ended up spending. So that's why I have 70 something dollars left in the buying and selling fund. Um, so that's it. That's where I'm at right now. Uh, you know, 70 some dollars is pretty decent to work with. Uh, Craigslist has really sucked lately. There's just not been that much good stuff on there lately. Um, I was sick as death uh, for like a week uh, where I didn't really feel like going and picking stuff up. Uh, my truck was broke for a week before that. So the uh, picking up stuff from Craigslist and obtaining things has really been uh, down, thumbs down and, and super bogus. But uh, 
Hopefully it picks up again soon. I emailed two people last week. Neither one of them e last night. Neither one of them emailed me back, which is stupid. Um, so that's where I'm at. Uh, I've got some, some Pokemon stuff in the works, so stay tuned. Um, I've actually got something really cool I'm going to announce once I hit 50 subscribers. So hopefully that comes up soon and I get to that mark. Uh, I'm at 35, which is which is super cool. It's been a slow growing process. It's uh, it's been uh, it's been a little bit hard. Um, I don't know if anyone cared or or wondered or thought about it, but I don't have a Facebook. I don't have an Instagram. I don't have Twitter. I don't have Snapchat. Um, I don't like social media. I'm not down with it. So I don't have any of that. And without that stuff, it's really hard to grow. So I'm growing as fast as I can. And uh, once I get to 50 subscribers, I have a cool thing I'm going to be doing in, an, in a gnarly announcement. Um, I don't think there's anything else to update you on. That's where I'm at. That's what's bought and sold. And uh, hopefully, uh, I inquired about this desk. Hopefully, I can get that desk today, even amongst the, the wintry wonderland that is occurring outside. And um, that's about it. So... Uh, Rock on. Peace out. Pantera freaking rules. If you're in Maryland, enjoy the snow. Uh, make a snowman, make a snow aardvark, whatever you want to do. Uh, be safe driving, and I'll catch everyone later. Peace.